NJCAA National Tournament. Play-in game between Howard Community College and Hartford Community College. The winner advances to the Final Four. The loser's season ends today. Two-time defending Region 20 champion Howard enters with a 14-game winning streak against Region 20 schools over the last two seasons. The Dragons have won each of their last seven games against Harford, including last week's Region 20 final. Harford received the national tournament's lone at-large bid. Fighting Owls, looking to make the most of their first national tournament appearance since 2013. First quarter, Howard's man-up offense gets going. Jesse Ekstrom, Ian Decker, places it high and gives Howard a two-goal lead. Decker finished with one goal in last week's championship game against Hartford, produces two goals in the first five minutes of this national tournament game. The sophomore attackman leads the NJCAA with 90 points. Howard holds a three-goal lead thanks in part to its ability to win five of seven first quarter faceoffs. Travis Harrison and Jared Thompson combined to win it for the Dragons. Braden Martin, tremendous pass, hits Austin Norton in his stick, high to low finish. Impressive assisted goal. Time winding down on the first quarter. Harford moving the ball well. Fighting Owls respond with two unanswered. Much better start for Harford today compared to last week's Region 20 championship game. Norton, Ekstrom up against the short stick D midi. Ekstrom goes by him, connects with Martin with the bouncer. Howard is two men up. Ekstrom, Decker, to Will Smith right on the crease for his 55th tally of the season. The third highest goal total in the NJCAA. Time winding down on a Hartford penalty. Decker behind the goal. Sends a pass up top for Norton. High to low shot. Dragons offense moving the ball nicely and changing levels with their shots. Five goal lead for Howard. Braden Martin dodging. Overhand shot, scores. Two goal day for Martin. He scored four postseason goals. Smith gets above GLE. Five unanswered goals for the Dragons. Howard's man up unit back on the field. Decker forces the issue through the five hole. All Howard at the moment. Dragons defense shut out Harford in the second quarter. TJ Ellis with the save. Six first half saves for Ellis. Third quarter, Harford's man up offense goes to work. Ellis, tough save. Shane Trout is flag for the slash. Two flags on the play. Howard down two men. Dragons are hit with another penalty. Long possession for Harford. Eli Doyle executes. Fighting Owls back within six. Dragons answer right back. Dayton Fisher gets the goal. Howard reclaims momentum. Harford in transition. 27 and white, Matt Leone lands the check. Jake McKenzie scoops up the ground ball, pushes it the other way. Goes to Smith, feeds Chris Reinhardt. Howard responds with a two goal flurry to regain control. Howard beginning to have some success in transition. Ellis with the save. Moves it to Alex Stefanos, ahead to Fisher, and he's feeling it today. Two goals, six ground balls, and three calls turnovers on the day for the defenseman out of Howard High School. Six minutes remaining in the game. Will Smith on the run, takes it to the hoop and finishes high. Howard is moving on to the final four. 16-9 is your final. Dragons will play Onondaga in the semifinal and rematch of last year's national championship. TJ, you're going to the final four. How are you feeling right now? Um, 
feel good. We, uh, I think we played a really good game up until <clears throat> the end there when we let in a couple silly goals. But um, other than that, we feel good. We feel confident, and we're ready to go. Take us inside how you're seeing the ball right now. Do you feel any differently out there? Because the results are – you're doing a great job. Um, I don't think I feel any, any, different, any more different than I have all season. But um, I think that uh, in the last game against Harford, as a team and as a defensive unit, we definitely kind of clicked. And um, they're giving me the shots that I'm going to be able to save all day long. So it's, it's nothing new. It's just um, our defense is playing much better. And um, I guess that makes me play better too. So take us inside how the team – is feeling right now about its chances going to play a rematch of last year's national championship in the semifinal. How are you feeling right now? Um, we feel good. I think that we're confident, we're ready to play, and um, I think that we even might be going in there as some sort of an underdog, so we're going to be able to use that and have a chip on our shoulder. So I think we're ready to go, we're confident, and we're ready to win this game. Coach Faust was telling us that one of the reasons why he thought you all had such a big game in the region championship against Harford was you guys were excited. Is that an important part for you guys to get excited, do you feel like? Um, yeah, definitely. I think that um, the, la the past two games we've definitely been more up and ready to play these games, and I think that the scoreboard has uh, shown that. <laughs> So what do you think the team needs to do between now and between when you leave heading up to Syracuse? What needs to be done between now and then to give yourself the best chance to win? Um, I think that we just need to keep practicing like we have been practicing these last few weeks. Um, we've been up and excited in practice just like we have been in the games. We just got to treat practice like a game because we're getting ready to play a really, really good team. So we need to just work hard all week and be focused and ready to go. You mentioned the underdog aspect of it. I mean, Onondaga, you just have to give them their props, just decades of just dominance with um, Coach Wilbur's team. Just the, that whole – take us inside the whole underdog mentality of the team. What's it like in that locker room for you all? Um, well, I think that uh, Onondaga is definitely good. They're a good team. They beat us last year. So I think we're going to go in there with a big chip on our shoulder, trying to uh, take the rematch and uh, hopefully advance to the national championship game. Will, it's the third time in Howard's history, going back to the Final Four. Big accomplishment for the team. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty pumped up. I think the rest of the guys are feeling good, too. Really ready to get after it and get back to the Final Four and try to do what we did last year, but come back with the trophy. So you were there last year as a red shirt. What do you remember from that day against Onondaga National Championship? Being a bystander, you couldn't play, but you were there. Yeah, it was uh, definitely one of the tougher times for me to stand there and just have to watch it play out how it was. But uh, it was a surreal experience, and it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. So I can't wait to get back there and feel that again. For people who haven't seen it, just take us inside the whole battle and just how the – what do you remember most from that day? It was just a real hard-fought battle, and it really just came down to who did the fundamentals right and who just held onto the ball, didn't turn it over, and just did all the little things the right way. So what has that result meant to this season for you and your preparation? Is this something that, you know, you're going to have a chance to play on a dog in the Final Four this year? Is that something that you've had in the back of your mind? Uh, since, the, since we lost that game last year, I came out the day after we got back and I was shooting and I shot all summer long. I've been waiting for this moment since I've been on this team and was ready to put this jersey on. I just can't wait to get back out there. So I believe you had three goals today in a, in a big playoff, national playoff game for Howard. We talked to you after the Nassau game, and you said you just want to come here and perform for Coach, produce for Coach Faust. How do you feel about the way you've produced so far? Uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I can clean some stuff up. Uh, probably Coach Faust would tell you that I could do a few things his way. But uh, I feel like I'm getting it done, and I got Ian on my side, and I got Chris on the attack, and defense has our back the whole time, and we have their back. I, no one else I'd rather have in gold than TJ Ellis. TJ had a bunch of great saves today, that's for sure. Just Did that inspire you at all? Oh, every single save he makes just pumps me up. I'm standing at the midfield line just screaming his name, like, let's go five. Like, you made that save, now we're going to get one on this end. It's all because of you. All right, Will. So, just it seems like the last couple games, Howard, you know, didn't have a lot of luck against um, Nassau and Genesee, the Genesee game in particular, and that was kind of like a, a low point in the season. Like Looking back on that, what do you think that day, that, that low point against Genesee, what did that do for you and your teammates? Uh, it was a terrible day. You know, We didn't want to lose that game. We traveled all the way up there and just got the snot beaten out of us. But it was a real eye-opener for this team to like see that, yeah, we can play, but we're going to have to really, really play the best game that we can when we go upstate and play New York teams. So just the way the attack has played all, all year, you know, Chris Reinhardt, Ian Decker, and yourself, where's the chemistry right now with you and those two players you play with? Uh, I feel like I could 
turn around and not even looking. I know exactly where they are, and I could throw them the ball, and they'd catch it and put it in the back of the net. And I hope that's the same for me. One thing about Onondaga, we everybody knows they like to run, and they're just you know very skilled team, great stick skills. Um, how do you feel about the way your team's running right now and playing that sort of style? Um, I'm liking it. I, I would like to slow it down a little bit, play our game a little bit more, and not get into a running gun battle when we go up there. But I, I know that we can run with them. If we get into it, we can fight our way out. I mean, we've been to fist fights all year, and we're ready for one now. One thing that seems to be an ongoing problem with Howard it's not all Howard's fault of course but just it seems like calls like your team suffers a lot of penalties and I know we asked you this question before but just you know with this being the last weekend coming up here what do you think um, is, is the key to just the team giving yourself the best chance to win in terms of staying out of the box uh, we just got to keep playing our game uh, that aggressive game where we get on our hands and yeah some games the calls will go your way and then they won't some games so we just got to fight through that and just play our game, just make sure that we're doing what we can do to put ourselves in the best position to win. So the way I look at Onondaga is they're just like a, a championship fighter. You're not going to you know, win a decision, I don't feel like, against Onondaga. You're going to have to go in and there and you know, win convincingly to give yourself a chance. Do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, it's going to have to be like a, like a rocky knockout. We're going to have to go in there and hit somebody right in the mouth to get that game over with. Coach? Back-to-back -back final four years for you were assistant last year, assistant this year. You've really been a huge part of turning Howard around here. What? How are you feeling right now? Feeling great. You know, today was a, another test for us. You know, we played them obviously in the ch uh, championship game, and we just kind of came in today with the same game plan and just just to play our game and, and and good things will happen if we do, and that's what we did. And on to the final four. So with the defense today, T.J. Ellis had another big day. Um, who else in your mind stood out that you'd like to give a shout out to on defense? Uh, I mean, I'd like to give the, the whole defense. You know, our D middies in, in all of our long sticks, our, our long stick middies. Everybody played really, really well. I thought, uh, you know, it's it's really good to have Dayton uh, and, and Grady and even Shane. Those guys can they're so uh, you know versatile. They can hold on to the ball. They can run up and down the field. And there's not a lot of teams that you play where they where we trust. You know, they trust them that much to go up and, and, and handle the ball. On, our, on the offensive side, so that's a huge in our clearing game, and, and, and the, you know, the, Dayton had two goals today. You know, that's that's you know good for him, and uh, uh, so did Jared. Jared had a goal, so it's 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 really huge for us to have that as a as a, a fallback for clearing is to have them run up and down the field. So, yeah. So, is there anything after these two games against Harford that stands out in your mind that you really need to work on between now and Saturday, or are you pretty happy with the way things are? Uh, I think we can we can always you know we're nowhere near where our potential is still and I think we got we, we still can work on our on ball defense or, or you know we kind of gave up you know third quarter wasn't the best quarter for us today and we gave up some goals and we kind of let up and I just think if we don't let up and we just gotta don't let up and just keep keep doing our thing and, and, and not let silly goals like that go in so we just we let up sometimes and I think that's just our big thing is just all six guys that are out there on the defensive side including TJ our goalie. Uh, ready to go at every time especially against you know Onondaga is going to be very they're very good with the ball and if we're, we're lazy off ball then they're gonna they're gonna pick us apart so we just need to be firing on all cylinders and and ready to go so you basically have a completely new defense if I'm not mistaken this year what was the key to getting this defense back to the final four with you know the whole close defense new players uh, the biggest thing was just them buying into each other and in Le Matt Leone uh, is one of and, and Parker Lindsay are really the only two long sticks that we have back, and it's helpful to have Stefano, Alex Stefanos, and Colin Wallace back this year as well, uh, just to buy into each other. And we had a couple of rough games where you know you can tell that we didn't, you know, we were all new together and and wasn't, we didn't really feel each other out as, as as well. And you know now I think we're really starting to click, and you can just see the way we play. We tr we're starting to trust each other and and know what to do and what we're doing and, and everybody's kind of bought into each other and what we're doing. So that's the biggest part, I think. So coach, just what's different do you think that you'd be able to, you know, relay to your players who weren't on the team last year? What's different when you get to the final four and playing these games, you know, would win or go home? Just the, the, the atmosphere, the emotions, every, everything's running pretty high. And especially once we go once we go up there, it's a different style of play that, as we can tell, when we went up to play Genesee, it's just we just got to be ready for a fast-paced, aggressive type of play. Um, and it's a bigger stage, and it's it's the Final Four, and it's you know NJCAA TV is 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 playing it on their web their website, and they have announcers and everything. And it's it's just a different feel when you go into a game like that in, in Onondaga Stadium against 
we're playing them this year. So uh, it's just a different it's just a different feel, and we just got to come ready to play. And I think if we do, good things could happen. So, Coach, what were your thoughts walking off the field last year in the national championship game, having just dropped that one one goal loss to Onondaga? What were you thinking coming off the field? I was still very proud of the way we played. I thought nobody really gave us a chance, and it was our first time ever even being in the Final Four. So uh, I thought the way we played, you could tell it was evident that we really bought into each other and, and, and wanted to win. And it's just the way games like that go. It's a, a mistake here or there that – that we we made that cost us cost us that game you know it could have been it could have been going the other way and I thought in games like that it's just those little mistakes that you work that you 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 try to harp on those guys to not make that that uh could lose those games so you just gotta you gotta learn from them and and hopefully this year the guys that are returning we we don't have that feeling again so coach with the loss to Genesee um up in Genesee this season that was definitely something took me by surprise And it was just it was something you didn't see coming based on, you know, how the progress the team made at the end of last year. You didn't see a game like that coming. What do you think now that we're a couple weeks away? What did you, you learn from that game? Oh, we learned, we learned a lot. Uh, it being a one-goal game in the third quarter and then losing by 10, um, it was just that's the, one way, the only way we really could, could look at that is, is learn from those mistakes and realize that you know, once a team goes up on, on you four goals to – we could just kind of. It looked like we kind of just collapsed, and and you know it really helps us to, in a game like that, to learn how to come together more and to, to you know to fight adversity and, and to get over those kind of things. So it was a good at that point in the season. You know it sucks to lose, but it, I think we really handled it well and and learned from it and and realized it was kind of a reality check for us to to get our stuff going and and, <laughs> and to practice a little harder and to realize just because we you know we're, we may have been ranked higher than them that if we don't come out and play our game, that anything can happen. So I definitely didn't think it was going to be uh, that big of a loss, and I expected to win that game, obviously. Uh, but we still had a lot of good things come out of that game, and whether it was positive and negative. So, Coach, one thing, I hate to always be talking about this, but it seems like with um, this team just suffering a lot of penalties and really – it seems like it's. I know it's not 100% in you know your control, sure. and these are you know the referees. They're different every game. It's not the same group of referees, but it just seems like an ongoing thing where it doesn't go your way. So, what do you think you know can be done between now and Saturday to maybe do something about just giving yourself the best chance to win with you know the, the, keeping in mind that the penalty box situation. Well, we got to realize that penalties are going to definitely happen, and it's just part of the game. We just got to try to minimize them. Uh, and we got to kind of feel out how the refs are calling the game. And, you know, today there was a couple of calls that I think for both teams that could have either been called one way or the other. Uh, and we just got to learn as a coaching staff and as a team to not really let those emotions get to us too much and try to control the, what we can control, uh, what we can try to control what we can control. Um, and, the, you know, that kind of stuff's really out of our hands. And, you know, it's easier said than done, <laughs> obviously. But we just got to try to not let the emotions get to us. So how do you think the team did today with the whole emotional element of the game? It definitely seemed like it was a very high, highly intense game. You know, it's an NJCA quarterfinal. Uh, I, th- I thought the guys were 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 ready to go. They they were calm, cool, collected, uh, but not too much. And I think we were just you know we were kind of just harped on them to be confident and not not cocky. Just be confident in what you're doing and, and just realize that uh, if we don't come out and come out firing and come out you know fast paced and smart, that this game could have gone. You know, one way or the other, and the way that you know, the first half we played really well in the first half. I thought uh, a little bit shaky in the second half. We were man down a lot. I think we were down three men at one point, which is stuff that we gotta, we gotta, you know, we gotta fix come time for the big game uh, against Onondaga. But uh, just learn to to minimize those and and play through it. So I know you're a New York native. Just going home and getting to sure. compete for it all in your in your home state. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means it's it, it means a lot. It's it's cool to go back up there and and, and to have a lot of family and and friends uh, come up to the game like they did last year. I think I'll have a, a, some some friends and family coming up to get this one too. But uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun because uh, could have you know I had a lot of friends that played there and growing up in that area it was always it was always uh, Onondaga's the, the the junior college team to beat. And now that I get to go up there and play them, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's really cool. 
So knowing players that have, you know, played for Onondaga, what do you think makes Onondaga so consistently special where they're just year in, year out, they're the favorite and they're, you know, won so many championships? What do you think? Why do you think that is? Well, it's, it, it, has, it has everything to do with, with, with the way that NJCAA is. It's just like us down here in Maryland. Once the team starts winning, that's where players want to go when you're only there for two years. So when, they turned the, when Coach Wilbur got there and turned the program around, that's where a lot of New Yorkers wanted to go, and that's where the long, you know, a lot of Long Island, they, they get a lot of, uh, they get a, lot, a lot of guys from Canada to, to go to play them, and they're very, they're very well coached, and they're just very good. So that's what makes them so good. They're, they play well together, and, and uh, they're very talented. So we, we, gotta, we just got to be ready to go, and that's, I think that's what you know, makes, them, makes them a good team.